It knows what scares you. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Halloween Month, where I review horror movies in one month. Last time I reviewed one of my favorite vampire films of all time. Now it's time to talk about one of my favorite haunted house movies of all time. Don't get me wrong when I say this movie. I love the Conjuring movies, of course. It's a classic haunted house. There are a lot of great haunted house movies. But in my opinion, it doesn't beat this classic right here. I'm going to talk about Poltergeist today. This movie is directed by Tobe Hooper and it's produced and screenwrote by the legendary Steven Spielberg who got so much credit for this film. So I will talk about some scenes from Poltergeist. So obviously, spoiler alert, if you have not seen Poltergeist, check it out. I think it's a really remarkable movie. I think it's, to me, one of the most classic haunted house movies of all time and it's a movie that never ever gets old. And please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to notify for more movie reviews and other movie related content. So in Poltergeist we follow this suburban family where they find out their house is suddenly haunted. They first think it's all cool and stuff until the spirits of the house took their daughter away named Carol Ann. So the family has to figure out to get rid of the spirits and also get their daughter back. Poltergeist has been a big part of my life and let me explain why because this is one of those movies that actually traumatizes me a lot as a kid. I don't know the reason why I didn't put this movie into my movies that scare me as a kid video. I'm deciding to do a second one this Halloween because I just know there are some other movies that scare me as a kid. So with the story of Poltergeist of why I was scared of the movie as a kid, I will explain that more on Movies That Scared Me As A Kid Part 2 video, but let's just say that I was in my grandma's house. I woke up 3 in the morning, I turned on the TV, I'm not going to tell you the scene that I'm scared of, I'm going to tell you more in details in the video, but I remember there was this one scene that I literally just turned the TV off. I was turning the TV on when I woke up 3 in the morning, I don't know why I did, I have the habit of waking 3 in the morning in my grandma's house, I had to sleep at my grandma's house by the way. I woke in the morning and usually Thunderbirds is on. You know the original puppet Thunderbirds show? It's always on early in the morning. So I was finding that show until I found Poltergeist. And this movie traumatized me as a kid. It scared me a lot from a lot of scenes of the movie, which like I said before, I will explain it more in movies that scare me as a kid video. But that's how big of an impact this movie was to me as a kid. It scared me as a kid. And I tried to avoid it. Actually, my dad was about to show me that movie, like, years later. I was, like, six when I first saw Poltergeist. And then, like, maybe when I was nine, I'm like, no, this movie scared me as a kid. I don't want to watch it. And years later, when I started watching horror movies like The Conjuring, I started to watch Poltergeist. And I love that movie ever since. I've always loved Poltergeist. This is a classic. It's one of the best haunted house movies, in my opinion. It's probably the movie that started off this haunted house genre where, oh, a family moves into a house, the house is haunted by spirits, and the family has to deal with it. I think this is the first movie that kind of deals with that, and a lot of people back then when they saw this movie, they think it's one of the scariest movies of all time. And yes, this movie is terrifying. It's a terrifying movie, but what's actually really good about Poltergeist, in my opinion, especially when I rewatch this now, because I love watching these type of movies on Halloween, is how lighthearted this film is. Yes, this film is dark at parts. This film has some really creepy scenes. But this film is also very lighthearted. This is a very Steven Spielberg type film because the film looks Spielbergish. And a lot of people complain that Steven Spielberg was much more involved in this film than Tobe Hooper because if you watch Texas Chainsaw, which he directed, it's definitely different to this film, especially towards the style. Which at parts of the movie, I'm like, yeah, this does feel like a Steven Spielberg movie because this movie still has a sense of wonder and magic that Spielberg does. At the same time, it's terrifying as shit, but this film is very lighthearted, especially towards the family. I love the family in this film. They have such a great chemistry, but at the same time, they felt very realistic. I love the couple in this film. One of them is played by Craig T. Nelson. When they talk in this film, it felt so real. It felt like an old married couple just discussing about something and they still respect one another. It shows how realistic this family is and it shows how much you root for this family towards this family. Film and you root for them for getting their daughter back, which is the tragic story of this film. Because the girl, I don't know the girl's name, this actress who played the little daughter in the film, Carol Ann, tragically passed away after doing this franchise, which is very, very sad. And I think she was really good in this film, playing this really adorable little girl, slash creepy, like when she goes to the TV going, They're here! 
one of the most iconic scenes in horror movies in my opinion. If I heard that quote, I would say, yep, I'm guessing Poltergeist. Because it's iconic, that quote is very iconic. I would say also the visual effects of this movie, in my opinion, still hold up in my opinion. Like this movie came out in 1982, so we're going way back before The Lost Boys came out. Yes, there are some effects that don't hold up, but don't forget, this movie came out in the 80s. Obviously the effects are better now than back then, but the effects for that time period looks really, really good. Where things floating around, you see the spirits, they look really creepy and look really, really cool. And there are some really cool practical effects as well in this movie. Like there's a really disturbing scene where one of the guys gets his face like peeled off and you see a lot of blood and it's very practical. It's not freaking CGI like the remake of the Poltergeist, which why is that even a remake? Why then remake this film? It's a classic. It's a classic story. If you want to see my review, it's a very old review, but check that out on my channel. But the effects in this movie, in my opinion, still hold up. It looks really good for its time. And yes, there's a lot of creepy scenes in this movie, especially the clown scene. Of course, that clown scene is creepy as hell. I remember that clown. Man, it still creeps me out to this day. Like, why does that kid even have a clown doll? There's no explanation why he has the clown doll. It's just there, and it's creepy as hell. I remember the tree scene was creepy. And, of course, when you see the spirits, they look creepy, especially towards the end of the movie. That whole spirit scene at the end of the movie, the monster, the beast, it looks creepy as hell. But that's what's good about this movie. It makes this horror and lightheartedness together, which I feel like Haunted House films don't do that in a while. I would say The Conjuring 2 kind of did the same, like it had some lighthearted moments and heartfelt moments, but I think Poltergeist kind of did that good. Like, I don't think horror films can beat that, because I like how lighthearted this film is, especially when you see this family trying to get their daughter back. You root for them. You don't find this family annoying at all. You don't find this family doing dumb decisions. You like this family because it felt so real. And I just really like the concept. I like haunted house movies when they do it right. And in my opinion, Poltergeist did it so right. This is obviously a big classic for me. It's a haunted house film that I would always watch every single October. Poltergeist will always be one of my favorite haunted house movies. It's always been one of my favorite horror films. I could put this on my top 10. That's for sure. This movie is a classic. It's scary. It's lighthearted. I think Tobe Hooper and Steven Spielberg made this movie very, very well. I think this is a classic. So if you guys have not seen Poltergeist, check it out. This is a very fun, lighthearted horror movie that I think it's just fun for everybody, I reckon. Like, yeah, kids will get freaked out by this movie, but it's not like, oh, it's very, very, very scary. I think there are some cool elements of this film as well, and there are some beautiful moments in this film also. But this is the way to do a haunted house movie, in my opinion. So check out Poltergeist if you haven't seen because it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So guys, that is my review of 1982's classic Poltergeist. Let me know what you think of this film. Do you like this film? Do you think this is one of your favorite haunted house films? And what is your favorite haunted house movie? Let me know that in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and notify for my latest movie reviews and movie related content. And yes, DC fandom's coming very, very soon and I will do trailer reviews coming up. Yep, I'm going to start doing trailer reviews again. So I know I missed out on big trailers, but I'm going to start coming back doing trailer reviews again. So I will talk about trailers of the new Batman, maybe The Flash. Don't know what's coming to DC fandom, but I will talk about those movie trailers if they are out. And definitely talk about some more movie trailers when they're upcoming. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and notify for my latest movie reviews and upcoming movie related content. And have a nice day.